Right now, the Eras Tour is underway at the Superdome. Tens of thousands of Swifties are there for the first of three concerts, and WGNO's Rick Gogrieve is there as well, outside Rick. Susan Kurt, it was a sea of colors, sequins, sparkles, and glitter outside of the Superdome as fans marched on inside getting ready for the concert, of course, to see the one and only Taylor Swift. The wildest dreams of thousands of Swifties have finally come true. Super excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm so excited and I'm very lucky. For some, this concert marks their first time seeing Taylor Swift perform live. It's my first time ever going to an Ares tour. This is my first uh, time being at a concert. I got this, uh, these tickets for my birthday turning 10. I got them for my 11th birthday. And um, I am super duper excited because she's my idol. While for others, this is just another chapter in their journey with the pop star. My first tour was actually the Speak Now tour. I didn't get to go to the Fearless, so that was over maybe 15, 14 years ago. I feel like it's going to be a little different, so I'm excited to like see what she does differently. Many wanted to create a unique outfit to remember the day by. This took 13 months to make. It was 182 tassels, 63,000 beads, and it took 13 months. While others went in a different route. We kind of went back and forth as to how we were going to dress and like are we going to go as one of the eras and be really cute and sparkly or are we just going to be like all out, be as weird as we can. And we obviously chose one. And while many attending the concert are on the younger side, there's plenty of fans representing the older crowd. I'm 64. I'll be 65 in December. I'm 44 years old in the military. I'm a male and look at me dressed like this. Nevertheless, fans like them say being part of this fan base has been nothing short of magical. It's truly uh, exceptional what she's doing.